So here I am on another one of my trips. I'm on the edge of a mountain cliff outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, somewhere in Red Rock Canyon. I think it's called White Trail Indian Whitehead something or another in Red Rock Canyon. It's pretty spectacular. So I'm going to be very transparent with you. The reason these trips can take place for me is because of a home-based business opportunity that I took advantage of five years ago in 2007. It took me two and a half years to go full-time with it, and I was just doing it in my part-time, in my spare time that I had left over outside of um, going to college full-time and a half and other things I had going on and stuff like that. So in my spare time, it took me two and a half years to be able to make that transition and give up some other things I was doing, dealing with the really hard economy, looking for a job and things like that, and, and just doing this full time so I've got all my freedom to do whatever the heck I want. It's completely wonderful. So I know a lot of you out there are in debt. Um, probably about 99 out of 100 people, or 98 out of 100 people, are living a lifestyle of debt, paycheck to paycheck. And most people aren't doing very well physically with their health. And even emotionally, and, and uh, self-confidence is, is not doing very well because um, a lot of what uh, you've believed to be true about uh, going to school and then getting a job and you do what you're supposed to do and you go the extra mile maybe at your job and at your school and you're just going to be taken care of financially. You'll be able to pay the bills, no problem. Go on a trip maybe once in a while, open up a savings account, afford Christmas for the family, these kinds of things. And in recent years, for a while now, all of that has been um, very challenged, and so a lot of people just have this belief system that's been completely shattered about going to school, getting a job, and you're going to be taken care of, and we're finding that's not really true. In fact, we're finding that probably the most uh, insecure, the, the, the riskiest thing that you could do with your livelihood and your family's livelihood is to have a job, and uh, only a job, as an employee because a lot of people are losing their jobs at no fault of their own. I lost the last job that I ever had at no fault to my own. The company decided to, well, the boss of the company decided to uh, sell all of our jobs off to the highest bidder, which happened to be a company out in India. So I lost my job to uh, cheap foreign labor in India, and uh, I had nothing to do with that. It was not my fault, <laughs> but it was entirely my fault that I did nothing during that five years that I had that job to do anything in my spare time to um, develop an income that I own, like in a home-based business opportunity. So I sort of got caught with my pants down like a lot of people do and a lot of people that are living a lifestyle of debt paycheck to paycheck or, or maybe even worse. But uh, I turned it all around with a home-based business and the whole reason I'm, I'm here right here and taking these trips that you guys see me taking where whether I'm going to the Caribbean Sea uh, whether I'm going to the, all over the Pacific Southwest, Southern California, Las Vegas, Nevada, um, other areas of the country, Florida, uh, Texas, and wherever else I might be going to in the future, uh, I don't have to check in with a boss. I don't have to request permission from anybody to take this time off. I can do it whenever I want. I can do it last minute. I don't have to check my bank account because money isn't the issue that it used to be in the past where I was living maybe more paycheck to paycheck or in debt. Uh, I, don't, I don't have to worry about those things anymore. And I know that it's possible, even no matter how dire things might seem for you right now, it's possible for you to make that transition from where you're at right now to no longer have to worry about money and living in debt and uh, worrying about you know what happens if an emergency comes up and then your paycheck to paycheck lifestyle is blown up out of the water. That creates a lot of stress. And I think in the end, what we all want, whatever our goals are, it's to replace a lot of chaos and stress with some peace in our lives. And I'll tell you from firsthand experiences, when you, when you uh, own your own job and you're building your own dream instead of somebody else's dream, then uh, that tends to replace a lot of chaos with a lot of peace. And as far as the tax code goes, if you have a job and only a job, then uh, the tax code is your worst nightmare. You're going to pay more in proportion to your income in taxes than anyone else in the country. So you have the highest tax rate. And the reason for that is because you're not doing anything to stimulate the economy except how you spend your money. And, and most of you don't even buy made, made in the USA. Uh, so even the way that you spend your money, a lot of you isn't benefiting the economy at all. So you have to pay the highest tax rate in the country. If you own your own business and you invest in yourself and in your business, the government says you can have all that money back. You don't have to pay taxes again. Now, technically, you're going to pay taxes, but it's all going to be reimbursed. So every dollar that uh, as a business owner and investor, every dollar that you spend on your business and yourself that earns you a dollar, you get to write off. It's been two years now that 
I have not, in the end, I have not paid any income taxes on all the money that I'm making. And this year, and the year after that, and the year after, it's going to be the same deal. This trip I'm on right now, check this out. Because I'm making this video, I am not going to have to pay taxes on this trip. Every day on this trip that I'm out here, I'm doing something that I would have done anyway because I love making videos and sharing my life on, on social media and things like that. But because of this video, uh, I'm not going to have to pay taxes. This trip will be written off 100%, airfare, hotel stay, all of it, uh, because I'm making this video. And I'm inviting you to check out this home-based business opportunity that I'm involved in because if it works for me, and it works for others, I know that it can work for you. I know it can help bring you out of debt and put you ahead in life so that you're not living paycheck to paycheck anymore. And uh, you know, eventually you can be in this place where you can own your time and basically buy your life back. If you're only an employee, then you don't really have control over your time. You have to get permission from somebody else to do anything. And even if you do get time off, a lot of people just have, the, they call them staycations because they don't have any money to go anywhere. So when they do get time off, they, they stay home. So wouldn't it be great if you owned your own business, something that you were passionate about? And because you own your own business, now you get these tax incentives where you can, uh, you can invest in yourself and in your business so that you don't have to pay taxes anymore. And guess what? Because you have invested in your business, your business is gonna be bigger the following year because you put all that money and all that investment into it. And then the following year, you get to write off even more money, spend more money on yourself and your business, which is gonna grow an even bigger business. So the following year after that, and then you just got this business that just keeps growing and growing and growing in size. And you're stimulating the economy. And Uncle Sam says, if you stimulate the economy with a business that you own, then you shouldn't have to pay taxes on it. That's largely what the tax code is telling us. The tax code is very explicitly telling us to be business owners and investors so that the tax code goes from being our worst nightmare to our best friend. And you go from saying stupid things like, there goes another pound of flesh this month paying the bills and, and at the end of the year, all those taxes and all that other stuff. And, uh, and, and you, you, you see your, your paycheck from your boss and how much they take out for taxes every week or every month or how, however often you get paid. Imagine getting all of that money back so that you can invest it in yourself and in your business. I mean, it's either that or I gotta give my money to the government. And if I give it to the government, I think we can all agree it's just gonna be wasted. If I keep that money and invest it in the growth of my own business, it's gonna serve the economy much better. It's actually going to help all you out much better. And if more entrepreneurs step up, own their business, and um, grow an income that they own and invest in their business, if enough people did that, then we could literally wipe out poverty in this country. People don't have to go starving and go without food anymore. We need more entrepreneurs in this country. At the end of the day, we need entrepreneurs we need employees, employers, entrepreneurs. We need somebody to drive the truck. We need, every position has to be filled. And what I'm saying is at the end of the day, if everybody did what they really truly wanted to do, all positions would be filled. There would be no more poverty and there would be no more people going without food. That's pretty friggin' awesome. But anyway, back to the whole point of this video. If you'd like to know more about starting your own home-based business so that you can come out of debt you can do better than living paycheck to paycheck. You can provide more for your family. You can buy your time back, which is, if you buy your time back, you buy your life back. If you wanna know more about that sort of stuff, let me know. And um, I'll tell you all about my business. You can decide if this is the thing for you. And if it isn't, then promise yourself that you'll keep looking until you find what it is so that you can be a business owner and an, and an investor. And you can start living your dreams instead of living by default. I think we were designed to live our dreams, not live by default. When we live by default, it's like we're living the life of a lie. We're not being authentic. And uh, if you're not being authentic, then it's like you're living the life of a lie. And when that happens, we don't feel very good about it. We know it. We don't like the way it feels. So let's start stepping out of that. I will meet you wherever you're at in your life, even if you have a small budget to start investing yourself or no budget, it doesn't matter. As long as you learn to grow from where you've been planted and you don't wait for anything to change outside of yourself, it's all right here. 
you've got everything that you need within your brain to create the change within that you need to change everything that's going on in the world around you and how you respond to what happens to you is pretty awesome stuff. This video is quite long enough. I'm sure I'll be making more while I'm out here and plugging in this opportunity for you guys and gals out there to grow your own home-based business. This is a pretty awesome, stellar location to be making videos. So yeah, I'm going to make some more. Have a great day, everybody. And um, start living the life of your dreams rather than a life by default, one baby step at a time. It's worth it.